My name is Parvati Kumar. I'm an artist in fine art photography. I'm currently based in Bridgewater, New Jersey. I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I grew up in Montreal, Quebec. But my parents and my heritage hails from South India, from the state of Karnataka, the cities of Bangalore and Mysore, where my parents are from. My life growing up, I was in the middle of many different cultures. At home, it was an Indian culture, Indian vibe. Outside of my home, it was largely French because I grew up in Quebec and English. So I kind of had to make the best of all these different uh, cultures that I was living in the midst of. And I think that does influence all my work. Home is definitely, you know, where your family is, your friends, your community. But also home can be even a deeper place or a deeper feeling, a place that's really truly inside of us where we feel at ease, at peace, that we can always retreat to. There's a word in Sanskrit called svasta. Svasta means to be grounded, to be established in yourself. So that's a word that I often lean on because we just never know. There's uncertainty, there's unexpected events that always happen, but we can always rely on that inner peace, that grounded feeling we can carry inside. As a child, I loved crafts. My mother was very hands-on. She did batik, she did knitting, macrame. She's actually the one who got me hooked on photography. She taught me as a teen how a manual camera works. My father was uh, very much into folk music, attached to his roots in, in India, though lived for over 50 years in Canada. In high school, loved art, creative writing. I also started playing classical guitar. I did Indian classical dance, and I've done photography my whole life. So I was exposed to all kinds of different art forms. I guess deep down, I knew that it was very much possible to be involved in all areas of life, both academics and the arts. In high school, I had great uh, teacher support. I did darkroom work there, which is how I learned. And then there are the legendary photographers out there, Elliot Erwitt, Louis Martin, contemporary photographers like Dina Litovsky, Maggie Stieber, and Vinit Vora. For this exhibit at the Visual Arts Center, I really wanted to focus on these black women to show the depth, to show their inner beauty, how they have resolved and persevered. You can see that through their portraits. I started this project in June 2020, uh, shortly after the tragic death of George Floyd. And given the uh, pain that we were collectively feeling and still feeling, I wanted to do something that was an antidote to that fear and pain which is to celebrate and show the joy of black culture. And I wanted to focus on black women. Within the span of about seven months, I met with 25 different women from all ages. They were from 19 through 86 and all different backgrounds. And I really wanted that variety. I focus on these black women to show their success. I think we are capable of much more than we think. My mother was a technologist in a hospital. My father was a math teacher, but they were heavily involved in artistic activities. So I always felt if you enjoy whatever it is you do, you should never deny that which makes you truly feel blissful and joyful. And if you keep at it, you will find that the universe responds in kind. If you take one step, the universe also takes a step towards you and does help you.